if you were interested in learning a martial art primarily to be able to walk away relatively unharmed from a street fight, what would that martial art be and why? So as we end off, I'm sure you've been asked this question 17 million times, but I, I want to ask you the age old question, which I already know. I won't say I already know what you're going to say, but I, I have an instinct based on what you're going to say, and I'm interested to see what you say about it. So if you're going to get in a street fight, there are typically three martial arts that come up that would be the best to learn to defend yourself in a street fight or end the conflict, and those are Muay Thai, boxing, and jiu-jitsu. If you were interested in learning a martial art primarily to be able to walk away relatively unharmed from a street fight, what would that martial art be and why? <laughs> Sprinting. <laughs> Good answer. Uh, yeah. So, uh, well, first I would say Muay Thai, wrestling, and Jiu-Jitsu are going to be the the three. I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna do anything, those those are the three um, core ones I would do. So you, you have the striking, uh, you have the stand up as well as mid ground level of of wrestling, and then jujitsu as far as that goes. Um, I mean, um, if you're in a street fight, you don't want to be doing fucking jujitsu because you're gonna get your fucking brain smashed out, and it, it, it can be a really bad situation. Yeah. Um, that's where wrestling is, is much more vital when it comes to self-defense than anything else. I mean, any martial art is, is better than, um, nothing, but, um, yeah, wrestling and, uh, striking are the two that you would really want to understand. Uh, uh and, and that's, what's so great about Muay Thai is that you do get a good, combination of a little bit everything when it comes to the clench and stuff you get a lot of wrestling uh judo a little bit of jujitsu with the uh, hand manipulation and stuff like that so there's a lot of things that uh cross all those barriers that are involved in muay thai so it's it, you really do get a good sense of uh, a base for all those things striking wrestling uh jujitsu judo um, if you, if you're learning it correctly, uh, which, which I've been fortunate because so like when I go and train with people that do jujitsu and judo and stuff, they're always really blown away at my ability to, to hang with them and, and understand yeah. a lot of these fundamentals that, that cross, cross platforms. Yeah. So, so you said the, the sprinting at first and, and obviously if you're smart, your sprinting. number one option is always to sprint away. But second, and it, and it yeah it's, it's always seemed like an easy answer because Muay Thai has the striking and the clinching but if your goal is to get in a position where you can do a 60 yard dash and you know get the fuck out of there I would want to do I would want to learn something that you have a little bit of grappling like with the crinch, with the clinch um and wrestling yeah. also helps too but striking to create space so that you can yeah. then run away and then jujitsu, yeah. everything about getting control in jujitsu is minimizing the space between you and your opponent, which seems mm -hmm. not the thing that you would want to do in a street fight situation. And a jujitsu competition, yeah, but in a street fight, that would seem uh, almost detrimental in a lot of ways. But I mean, people will tear yeah. this apart regardless of, of what I'm saying <laughs> in the comments. But that's always yeah. been my thought that, like, if you, you want to get in, in a position to sprint, Muay Thai would be the quickest path to that sprint away. Yeah, yeah, for sure.